IT professionals videos tutorials in this tutorial we want to look at sage 200 evolution topics to be covered we explore the sage 200 evolution we look at the system tree and the menu bar how to use it we also look at the new features in say 200 evolution so let's go straight to our software so i've already logged into my software so this is the system tree that allows me to assess all the various models in the sage evolution we have the my desktop common tax general ledger customers these are all the core modules but annuity billing then the procurement bill of materials downward is they, they are the add on modules that need to be purchased separately but the other entry inventory they are add on uh, they are the core modules so we can assess our the various modules from here if you select tax under the tax you have the maintenance maintenance is for creation while transactions is for posting if you want to post transactions then the inquiry if you are looking for something then the report same for the general ledger also you can assess just click on it you can assess the general ledger So it has the maintenance, it has transactions, inquiry, the report, virtual report, and charts. So you can assess the various, this is our system tree, you can assess the various modules from here. Then this is our menu bar, the menu bar. So for the menu bar also, we also come to maintenance to assess the various information that we have as, as we did general ledger we have the branch branches account permission various aspects of the softwares to so transaction also for each module also like that transaction for general ledger we have the cash book batches journal batches microsolution and so on they also have the report for each modules also we have the various information that we have to generate our report and also note that sage 20 revolution is ifrs compliant so if i remove surprise zero we now have statement of financial position so i can click on preview so to preview in the format of the international financial reporting standard so we have assets non-current assets property and actual the budget then this is the next page so just as we have for the balance sheet I also assess for our income statement also. So that is our income statement. So we remove suppress if zero. We cannot have more description. So we have the statement of comprehensive income. I'll click on preview. So this is the preview of our 
income statement these are the various expenses that we have so then we also have charts we have the visual report business performance analysis financial position analysis income and expense analysis so you can also assess the various modules from here also so how to assess the customer you just click on the dashboard so to bring out the various customer maintenance in the various aspects under the customers very interesting software very nice so, this is a overview of the software just to get you familiar with the software thanks for watching